Yo, my people, welcome to Updates with Bounce in Dubai. So guys, look, I was looking at my phone. Obviously, you know, I look on the shade borrow because there's a lot of controversy on the shade borrow. One of the big things that I wanted to talk about is the Diddy situation. Diddy, I see Young Spray trying to draw out gigs on the internet about Diddy. Obviously, there's a lot of controversy around Diddy's name that he's just been involved in a madness. And for me, looking at this and trying to understand this, obviously there's an agenda. He hasn't fallen in line. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen this Ice Spice viral clip um, going around where obviously she's falling in line doing some devil signs and doing some madness. You can see that she's sold her soul. I don't know all these things, what they have to do, but I do believe once you get to a certain level, I don't believe that anyone from the culture has sold her soul, no. I don't, I just don't. But America is different. And for me, Diddy, billionaire or was a billionaire. So there's certain things for a long time, I thought that Diddy, he owned Ciroc, but obviously he don't own Ciroc. Then he, a couple years ago, he's lost his contract with Ciroc and he tried to open up another business and he had to stand down. And But this is just my own opinion. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think, yeah? But this is just showing that someone hasn't fallen in line and the big boys are just saying, listen boy, little boy, sit down, remember yourself. You can have everything and then we can paint this narrative and this is what can happen. And I'm not saying, guys, I'm not saying that all the things are not true and I'm not saying all the things are true, but you can see there's always a new story that's coming out. Like, there's always a new story that's coming out. And my thing with Giggs and Diddy, look, Giggs is doing what he does. Giggs has done a lot for the music scene. He's one of the first to start um, the road rapping with a number of other artists, so solid, etc. But my thing is this, if a man knew all these madness was going around Diddy, me personally, from Giggs's character, I don't think that he would be around a man. Do you know what I mean? And obviously what's going on, obviously people are always ready to tear people down. And my thing is, obviously I've seen a, a few back and forth with Spray, um, or trying to act gigs. He's been doing it for a couple months. And I've got a lot of respect for Spray. I've got a lot of respect for Spray. I've always had a lot of respect for Spray. A couple months ago, he done an interview with another man revolving Dutch's situation. And the thumbnail, I didn't really respect, you get me? And I knew it was for, for views, you get me? Bouncer's mad because we found out he was a snitch or whatever he, he, he said. So in my head, I was thinking, this guy is for views, isn't it? But it's the internet. All these guys that was on the roads are not roadmen no more. We're doing podcasts, people are doing music. So I understand it, you get me? But this is one thing that I'm gonna say, because not many people are gonna say it, you get me? But man's gonna say it. A few years ago, the whole world knows, obviously, what's happened in the past with gigs and spray. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So my thing is, if you're from the streets and whatever's happened and a man's seen you and what's ever happened, cool, keep it like that. Or don't now, because you're, I don't know, your emotions or you're upset or whatever is, we're going to the internet to draw out a man what he's doing. You get me? Let Giggs do his thing. All he's doing is trying to elevate and he's trying to grow the culture. And this is me just saying as me. I'm not on that side and I'm not on that side. But it just looks like because of what's happened, you're just trying to draw out a man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And this is what happens with a lot of olders these days. A lot of you lot have fake accounts. A lot of you lot will see man doing X, Y, and Z. And you lot will just try to draw a man out. Like, you will try to draw out people that's doing positive stuff and you try to make agendas and you try to get, and then it's like, bro, we understand what happened and we understand your feelings as a hurt. Just leave it like that, bro. Leave a man to do what he's doing. So that's one thing that I will speak on, you get me? Like I said, I got a lot of respect for Spray. Um, I probably know he's gonna probably do a reply. Say what you're gonna say, vent what you're gonna say. It's always love my brother, do you know what I'm trying to say? But obviously I thought like, because we're always quick to tear each other down. We're always quick to say something. Like Giggs is involved in all whatever my man's doing. Do you know what I mean? So you get me, you've done an interview saying that, okay, cool. After seeing certain things or whatever revolving around Dutch and whatnot, but on the flip side, you've done an interview with whoever you've done the interview with. I might even mention the my man's name. But then on another flip side, you're saying all this stuff and trying to act gigs. It don't make sense, bro. You get me? It don't make sense, but man understands why you're upset. Do you get me? 
because I would be upset as well. So um, my thing is, yeah, man, we're negative people, innit? And um, we want to see, like, as soon as someone's levelling up, reaching highest heights, it's always the devil comes and whispers in the ears and they'll be like, okay, it's for us to be like, okay, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? How are we going to reply to this? And once we understand that the internet is not a real place, it's just a conversation, you will have people that have an opinion that of dislike and you will have people that have an opinion of support. And once you understand that, that's what just grows, isn't it? But keep on doing positive stuff, Spray. I've seen your interviews, you're mad funny, you found your lane and yeah, man, you're getting recognition. But I just feel like, yeah, man, Man. That's my input. You get me? That's my input. So yeah, man. So a lot of people hit me up and say, how do you start trading? And for me, that's why I focused on education. People ask me all the time, what platforms to use? What do I need to download? Who's your trusted broker? Obviously, with the platforms that I use, we've got ECG, that's a sponsor for us. We've been going strong with ECG for the past nine months, guys. There have not been no issues with all our clients. And we've also got a copy trading app. So if you don't know nothing about trading, you just want to follow people's trades. They've got some of the world's best traders on there that you can just press copy and you're printing money from your phone. Obviously, if they lose, you lose, but their ratio, you can see all their back trades, I'm on their money, it's risk management on there, man. So yeah, man, we got the sponsor. We got one of the sponsors, ECG. Whoosh. Now I want to say a big shout out to Made You Think. From start to finish, all he's been doing is pushing some quality information, putting on artists, supporting the culture, traveling around the world and interviewing some really inspiring people, man. So go check out his YouTube, go watch his interviews. But he posted something a couple days ago and I was reading the comment. Let me read what he posted. Why is there no UK version of QC Rock Nation Young Money? Well, it's easy. UK is a very small place. It's very small, isn't it? Like the states, you got a lot of states. You got a lot of you got artists that are multi-millionaires that you've never heard of. And the UK is a very small place. You got labels, you got the distribution, and you got independent artists. And it's just crabs in a bucket. Crabs in a bucket. I saw um, a comment what Post Malone's manager said. Dre, big up, big shout out to Dre London. Um, I don't know him, but he's done amazing things, and he is from the UK, and he's had to leave the country to really hit highest heights. And when I say he's one of the biggest in the world, he's one of the biggest. We need to look at him as he's done amazing. Post Malone, you know. So yeah, man, when I clock in the UK, we're all angry. Everyone's in competition with one another. No one don't want to support one another. Um, everyone waits for one another to get to a certain level and then they touch base. And I feel like as soon as an artist progresses, as soon as a manager and an artist progresses, that artist, that artist might not want another artist or another three, four artists for the record label or the manager to work with. They might just want to focus on just them so they can work on their projects, so they can progress. And here's my thing. I actually don't think there's many great a &Rs. There's many great music managers. I think when artists hire their friends as music managers, I think that's a big no-go. They don't actually know what to do. And I think that they look at short term, like they need to look at long term. They look at, need to look at people that's been in the business for a period of time. They need to have a balance. So they need to have a friend that is a manager, but they need to have someone that's corporate. Maybe someone that's got a background in music or someone that just knows a strategy to build a team. Because a lot of people will have their friends as managers. And then all of a sudden, they've created what they've created and then they've fallen out and then and then everything has gone to shits. But it's, it's a sad thing because it's like, why isn't there a movement that's doing that? And there's always, it's always us that want to tear down us. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's always us that want to tear down us. And when I look at things, I, I, back in the day, obviously I grew up to flipping so solid. I grew up to Cream Cartel. And that back in the day, when I looked at that movement, that was a solid movement. That was a record label, whether they were signed to the majors, but that was a solid movement and there was many artists that was performing and that was creating music and it was, it was inspiring to see. Now, I look at, for example, I think there was one person that was close to doing it, it was Heady One, OFB. And I looked at it and I saw, it, obviously it started with Abracadabra, Heady One came through and look what they done. Look at everyone that came through their, their organization. Look what they was building, they was going strong. I think with music, obviously we can see that music, even in America, you can see in America that music has took a big drop. They say that rap hip hop is dropped by 40%. I don't know the numbers, 
But if that is in America, what do you think that is in the UK? You know what I'm trying to say? And I remember when I came into the music world, there was, we were doing some big numbers. There was a lot of artists doing some big numbers. And maybe people think, well, the music, this has never been like this before. This is a one, this might just happen once. It might not happen again. Obviously the music has gone down now. And I feel like even being out of music for the past three and a half years, I'm still receiving people sending me music. There's shows, there's a disconnect. There's shows, there's no structure. There's no, artists don't know what to do. They don't know where to start, what to do and how they can grow their audience. So I would like to see maybe years to come that there's a movement, there's multiple artists getting signed. There's an independent record label. There is other record label. And yes, I would like to see what happens. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But I feel like there needs to be a lot of work from start to finish in terms of artist development. Moving on to the Brit Awards, guys. And I know a lot of you lot have seen the Brit Awards. Big shout out to obviously K Trap for getting nominated, you know, already. So what is it? Best Hip Hop and Grime Act. Now this one here, it shocked me. Big shout out to Cash is Dead, that one. But in the lineup, we had Central C and we had Dave, bro. Guys, let's not forget what they done last year. Let's not forget history that they both made last year. Let's, let's not forget that Dave knows how to play certain instruments, guys. And I'm not even saying this just to say it. And obviously Dave is one of my favorite artists, so I might be biased. But Central C winning, Dave winning, it makes sense. Like, look at the year that they had last year. And I'm not trying to rub out the artist that did win, but I just think you can still kind of slyly see racism. Like, and I'll be real, you can still slyly see racism. People from the culture, they want us to sit down. They want us to sit down. And it's a joke. It's a joke. Last year, you see the amazing things that they've done, not only for themselves, but for the culture, growing us. And then for you to sit down, go to the Brits and be like, oh yeah, boom. Like, who picks these things? So, who, so what happens? What is the thought process? how you pick who wins. Like, what's the thought process about it? You sit on a committee and then what everyone flipping puts their name in the hat. What you look at the person and be like, hmm, I don't know. I, I don't get that, man. That kind of annoyed me. But I'm thinking, bro, like, why are we always, why are they always trying to like control what we're doing? Like, we need to put, boycott these places, man. The Brits don't like us, bro. Yeah, we are born here, but they don't. The Brit Awards don't like us, bro. Do you know what I'm trying to say? They've done it many times. They've done it many years. They've done it to American artists as well. So, yeah, man, we need to boycott these places, man. Serious, man. And lastly, guys, what I'm going to speak about before I ask some questions is the internet always believes anything. They believe anything, or even when they know something is not true, it's just peak, man. It's peak. You got people re reading scripts, all of a sudden some paperwork's come. They're saying that Diddy's flipping had a relationship with Meat Mills. Come on, man. Like, come on, guys. Wake up and smell the coffee, man. What sort of rubbish is that? But as soon as that's out, it's like, because they're such big names, it goes viral. And you know, Andrew Tate, he's a very powerful man. So when he speaks, people have to reply. You get me? They get triggered. But come on, guys, man. Because I'm seeing all comedians now flipping, doing jokes about Meat Mills being gay and not being gay and having that next to your name is mad as well you get me so i think we need to kind of look at information on the internet and just know deep down it's not all true guys it's not all true you know what i'm trying to say the younger generation can see that and actually think there's always someone that will think maybe i wouldn't put it past man it's crazy anyone that hasn't seen obviously the interview that i've done with andre the honey trap murder please watch now now moving on to asking some questions z your boy tell me Talk to me. Music is a shambles because all the youths want to do drill. There's no space to do drill artists. So yes, my brother, um, as you can see, drill's kind of dying down. Like, real raps here now. It's open for you lot. It's open. Anyone that wants to be a music artist now, I think the doors is open. It's time to work. I think them days where any drill artist can just release a drill song and it gets hundreds of thousands of views are done. We're going for quality music. So I was thinking as well, I've been, for the past three and a half years, I will never get into music management again. Obviously I'm too busy and it takes a lot of time managing individuals and I don't want to work for no one. I want to be my own boss. But I've been thinking of other ways to add support, add my services to the music world. So link in bio, follow the newsletter guys. I've got something very interesting for you. Something I think is going to help the music industry by 100%. And you know me, I'm a strategist guys. Everything that I do at first is not cool, then it becomes cool. Now that spaces are maybe more difficult to get a job. 
So regarding that honey chat interview, someone put above, guys, you type in his name, you can't get a job. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You type in his name. If you're gonna get a job, obviously you're gonna ask for your name and they're gonna look up about you. So I feel like the interview was needed. Listen, when you create your own business, you can work for yourself. So I think in our head is, oh yeah, we need to find a job. And to be honest, he works for me. Do you know what I mean? He works for me, I pay him monthly. So at the moment he's in good hands and obviously you need a support system. You can't have someone that has done so long in prison and then all of a sudden they're left to figure it out their self because a lot of people are doing that. Maybe all of these codies don't, don't have that support system where they have people who can just offer them a job. But with myself, I feel like it starts within, and it? It starts from home, innit? So having that support system and then sitting down and what can you do for the community? What can you do for the generation? You've made a mistake, do you know what I mean? You know there's people that are grieving, you know that there's people that are angry and you can't turn back time. So it's just one of them ones where a lot of people have an opinion and it's okay to have an opinion. A lot of people will be in the comments will agree with me and disagree with me, but that's okay. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. Let's finish this off, guys, by saying Ramadan starts next week. I hope all my brothers and sisters have a clean, a good Ramadan. Let's try lower down the backbiting. Let's try focus on our deen. Like I said, guys, we're, we're all sinners. Do you know what I mean? The only thing we can do is improve. The only thing that we can do is change our environment and try to be around practicing brothers, practicing sisters. And the only thing that we can do is try to lead by example. So let's all have a amazing Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below what you want me to speak about next week. And let me know what questions that I need to ask. Whoosh.